So through the years, we've seen a ton of different sneaker technologies come and go, and I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys my top five failed sneaker technologies thus far. What is going on guys, Hess here from CollectiveKicks.com and if you guys want to shop this week's top sneaker deals, please go in the description and click that link and it take you to my website. Check it out, there is a ton of great deals right now. Nike is doing an extra 25% off of clearance prices with a specific code that I have mentioned in the description. But they have a ton of really good deals right now and I posted a lot of deals on the website so feel free to go check that out but before we jump into the top five i wanted to go ahead and throw a disclaimer out there this is just a, my top five of failed sneaker technologies that i can think of you may or may not agree with some of these some of them you may not consider fails at all but it is just for discussion really and if you guys have a difference in opinion feel free to just weigh in in the comment sections and leave a comment and let us know what sneaker technology failed that I missed or that you think should have been on this list so just wanted to throw that out there uh, it was fun for me to be able to do this video because there's a lot of random technologies that are new and old that uh, I think some people would consider fails so let's go ahead and jump into the number five spot so the number five spot for me personally would go to the Avia cantilever technology and if you guys don't know what this is the cantilever technology centers the heel of the shoe over a concave sole so basically the sole acts as a trampoline to soften the force of impact and add support and provides a return of energy to one's stride. So funny thinking about return of energy and impact protection and all that stuff. Obviously Boost does a ton of that stuff, but back in 79, uh, this is something that was developed from Avia. Avia had one of the all-time greats rocking their product, which was Clyde Drexler. And actually in 1991, Avia successfully sued Nike for infringing upon their pattern of the cantilever technology, which is pretty relevant because the technology that Nike had back in the day was the Nike Air 180, which is the one that was just recently retroed and running, and you can actually buy that right now. So the reason why this one is on the countdown is really more because it's not relevant in today's time. Avia is still around, but I believe you can only buy it at Walmart, so it doesn't have the presence that it had in the early 90s. Avia actually had another technology called the ARC, it's A-R-C, which stands for Anatomical Rebound Cradle, which is actually something that I remember mostly. All right, so the number four spot goes to the Nike Shocks, which is pretty painful for me to say because I actually really love this technology. It was something that came out in the year 2000, and it was a really dope technology, at least to me back then. It made me feel like I was a little bit taller. But the R4s were super dope running shoes, and they had the BB4s as well for basketball. And then they had a training pair as well. And I believe they actually had a recall on the training ones because of the materials they used were not water soluble or something like that. I can't remember exactly. If somebody actually knows, leave a comment in the comment section. It'd be great to remember and hear that. But um, but I had the Vince Carters back in the day as well. And I thought the Nike Shocks was just a really cool, innovative product from back in the day. To some capacity, the technology probably did work a little bit. I feel like the Shocks did not really actually absorb the impact that it was supposed to and spring you back the way that the shocks were supposed to do but i thought it looked really cool and it was really clever and the whole idea of it was just awesome so because of that i wanted to add this to the countdown but obviously as of right now you can actually buy the new nike shocks that are available um, on nike's website and i actually haven't tried those ones out yet i've been trying to get them for under retail and if i can get a pair then i'll definitely get a pair just because i want to try them for nostalgic purposes but also to see if they've improved upon the technology in this modern day and age <laughs> So the number three spot goes to the Adidas Spring Blade, which came out in August of 2013, so it is very new comparison to the rest of the technology that I've pretty much mentioned, but it is definitely noteworthy because in my opinion, this is a huge fail. It was something that was really kind of innovative, and I think that you gotta give Adidas some props because they're trying to bring innovation to their respective spaces, similar to what they're doing today in modern days with the Futurecraft 4D. But I think that the Spring Blade was just one of those ones that looked super weird and runners were like, yeah, we can probably run in these. But what ended up happening was these went straight to outlets and they were like super duper mega discounted. I mean, I think they retailed at 180 or 190 and you can buy them for like 50 or $60 nowadays. So it's obvious that they never really picked up the hype that Adidas was hoping for. But on the positive end, Adidas Boost did pick up because that was the technology that they released uh, just before this one. So if you didn't know what the Spring Blade technology was, there's a complex article that I'll link in the description that says, it's a midsole outsole made up of 16 high-grade polymer blades uh, foregoing any sort of traditional foam-based midsole compound. Each blade features a slightly different width and angle, resulting in individually tuned configuration. 
and currently it's only been applied to the spring blade model but i think that's as far as it went it didn't go too many models deep but if anybody's actually tried this spring blade technology leave a comment in the comment section so the number two spot goes to the reebok zig tech technology and it released in 2011 and um i have to say that it just looks really really crazy John Wall apparently didn't like it enough to stick around with Reebok because his, I believe his first signature shoe actually featured ZigTech, but it's a really, really bizarre looking um, foam technology that the overall shape was just kind of off-putting, I guess, to consumers, but it does appear that they are currently creating the Zig technology, but it looks like they've like dumbed down the overall design so it doesn't look as crazy and as aggressive as what it did when they first introduced it. So a little bit about it, the wiki says that ZigTech debuted in 2010. So the Zig Pulse was the very first shoe that featured the ZigTech and it includes a zigzag foam sole that is designed to push athletes forward. The design assists in energy return to the wear by absorbing impact at the heel and dispersing the energy through the zigzag composition which propels the athlete forward and reduces stress on the shins. Sounds like a very, very familiar type of saying that basically all these cushioning technologies are trying to do. Some of them are a little bit more out of the box than other ones like so. Reebok's Zig technology was actually marketed as an energy drink for your feet. Overall, I think that this is a sneaker technology fail just because it is such a bizarre looking product and it was definitely trying to be edgy and out of the box. So because of that, I think that this shoe definitely hit the sale racks in stores. <laughs> All right, so we made it to the number one spot on the countdown. If you guys are enjoying the content, please hit the thumbs up button and maybe subscribe to the channel. Notification bell if you want to be notified of when I post content. But the number one spot for me personally goes to a technology that I actually really like, but I still think it's a flop, and that is the Converse React Juice technology. It's definitely one of the most intriguing types of technology that they actually released, and I remember it specifically from 1993 and the Aero Jam. I think this shoe was dope and I actually had this one. It was my very first seated pair of sneakers from Champ Sports. But the Aero Jam had the React Juice technology in it. So what is React Juice? It sounds like something not very good. It sounds like an STD or something. But it's supposed to be a responsive liquid that automatically transitions from one area of your foot to the next by jumping and running and all those other things. The bottom line though is it's pretty much just a straight up gimmick. But in my opinion, the best part about this gimmick was the six foot seven Grandma Ma Larry Johnson wearing the Converse Aero Jams and the commercials were hilarious. It's just so random and so funny and I don't know. I, I love the shoes because of it, but it's just one of those technologies that just was kind of doomed from the beginning. It was like, cool, it does what? And then you look at it and you're like, wait, it's just like literally a little pouch of jelly sort of stuff stuck to the shoe. Like it really didn't do anything, but I liked the concept. It was fun that they were trying to do something innovative. It just was done in a really, really poor manner. So that is the number one spot on my countdown. But what did I miss? What other technologies do you think should have been on this countdown? What other technologies do you think are a huge fail? Uh, leave those comments in the comment section. I definitely would like to see those. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this week's top five Tuesday. And once again, if you guys did, feel free to hit that like button. I definitely appreciate it when you guys can do that. And if you guys want this top five series to continue, please leave a comment and let me know and let me know what uh, future videos you guys want to see. And at this time, if you guys want to see some other videos on my channel, feel free to go ahead and click on the screen. Thank you guys for stopping by. Catch you guys for some more videos again soon. Peace.